uh, Dubbo. I've been booked to perform at a rodeo uh, where I believe I'm walking on stilts and letting motorcycle or something ride through my legs in between my stilts. Uh, it's called human bridging when you uh, things pass under your stilts. Um, it's been a long day. I left the house at like 9 o'clock. It's now 5.45. My car, as you can see, is quite small, so it's like a hatchback. I got all my gear. Um, the, I, I took two aeroplanes to get here, and they said that they weren't sure if the uh, my luggage would get here. They said they can guarantee 20 kilos of it. I've got 50, <laughs> so they, they said work out what you need and what you don't need. And I'm thinking, well, you know, I've got I'm going to perform six gigs tomorrow at, because I'm doing the rodeo tonight and the agricultural show tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to perform six gigs. And so I put the costumes aside, obviously. Uh, I'm going to turn there, I think. Um, I, I put the costumes aside and the stilts and I kept as much as I could on hand luggage, but it all came, so I'm happy. Oh, Sally, Danny. Oh, Sally, Danny. Everybody said it was a shame. No, it's all right. In Osaka. We're going to let Nathan in there. Oh, no, the horse is going to come in. Nathan Burton, tell you there, Nathan. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for having me this year at the Kuna Show. Uh, it's a great privilege to be here. I'm going to be doing something that uh, I recommend that you do try at home. We're going to try a couple of passes through to see if it freaks out the horse. If it does freak out the horse, I'm sorry, but we'll have to abandon the stunt. This will be young for Nathan Burton, horse and the handle. Let's see if uh I love night carnival. This is a rodeo and uh, I've just done some human bridging where a horse wouldn't go under my stilts um, but it was a lot of fun um, and I'm gonna go around the carnival I'm gonna do some stilt walking um, I'm gonna also tie some balloons into a circle show so it'll be a lot of fun. <laughs> That's a Dagwood dog. I don't know if you can see that. So that's a um, sausage that they roll in salt and then batter and deep fry and it's on a it's on a stick so hypothetically you're meant to hold this <laughs> not, a, not a whole lot of room it's not bad I mean it tastes great but I can feel my heart slowing down <laughs> it, it's good Sailing in it. The gators 
scratching. Well, I've had a great time. This is a night carnival. Uh, on the Roy Malloy scale of 13 to 73, I give this uh, 68. It's been good. Well, it's after my show now, and I'm really tired, but uh, uh, I travelled about an hour and a half from Melbourne to Sydney this morning, and then waited around in the Sydney airport, which is alright, it's a nice place, but um, you know, you, you don't actually relax, you sit there hoping you haven't missed your flight, <laughs> and then I went from Sydney to Dubbo, which is another uh, hour and a half, I guess, and then got in a hire car, and I drove through the back of New South Welsh countryside to get here, um, beautiful town, it was great, I really enjoyed that, it was fun at the rodeo because I didn't get kicked by that horse. I really thought that horse was going to kick me. Um, and it's always good when you don't kick by, get kicked by a horse. I highly recommend not getting kicked by a horse at a rodeo. Um, I, I did a couple of stilt shows as well in their sideshow alley. The carnival was really nice. Took some good photos, had some good food. So had a great time. My room is enormous. You've got to check this out, right? So I've got this great big double bed, television, a table. I have no idea what I'm going to do on the table. Another, double, another single bed. Uh, bureau that I can put clothes in. The bathroom's enormous. Straight raise a total moment. <laughs> Lord, I must take my mess up.